Hey everyone, Molly here from Pump Fix. This is my first video and I'm so excited to have you come along this journey with me. And I hope that this channel gives you that plant fix as plant lovers crave. Today I want to share with you my top 5 favorite indoor plants for apartment living. I picked these plants because they're perfect for those of us who have less than ideal lighting and are short of space. Also, they're super easy to care for. Fun fact, three of these plants have even made it into NASA's list of air purifying plants. So with that, let's jump in. Both those are by far my top pick for the most easygoing house plant. There's a reason why it's called Devil's Ivy, and that's because it's almost impossible to kill. This plant has beautiful heart-shaped leaves and has many different variations. Pothos is very forgiving. It's happened where I've forgotten to water my pothos for about two weeks. I then noticed the leaves starting to curl and droop, but as soon as I watered it, it was as good as new. Such a forgiving plant. Snake plant, or sometimes referred to as mother-in-law's tongue, can thrive in a range of different conditions and do quite well when you almost forget about them. They come in different sizes, shapes, and colors. Snake plants are a great air purifier and they release oxygen at night rather than during the day. I have one placed right by my bed for this exact reason. ZZ has such beautiful smooth waxy leaves and will brighten any room. This plant has become so popular in the recent years. That's because of its tolerance of different conditions. ZZ has a very efficient water retention mechanism. Because of this, one of the most common mistakes is overwatering. Definitely check the soil is dry before watering. This plant is absolutely amazing for its beauty, low requirements, and air purifying ability. It has such beautiful, deep green, glossy leaves. These lilies have a large white spathe or hood, which is actually a leaf called bract. And the small spike is called the spadix that's in the center of the spathe. And this is the flower. I had no idea the only part that's a flower is the spadix. Interesting, right? One thing that's been so easy with Peace Lily is that it's so quick to communicate what it needs. So if it's thirsty, the leaves will get droopy. And if you notice the tip of the leaves start to dry or get crispy, it's getting too much light. This makes caring for this plant so much easier. Monstera is a very easy plant to care for. They're famous for their natural leaf holes and the splits at the leaves. I know with apartment living space is limited, so make sure to have enough space as it can grow to be quite large. Also, I love how easy this plant is to propagate. I not only have two Monstera plants from propagating, but I've also been able to gift it to friends as well. This plant is one that just keeps giving. <laughs> so that's it. Those are my top five plants for apartment living. These have certainly thrived in my space and I think that they'll thrive in yours whether you are just beginning your plant collection or adding to your plant obsession. <laughs> I mentioned at the start of the video that three of these plants made it into NASA's list of air purifying plants. Those are pothos, snake plant, and peace lily. They're unique because they not only release oxygen, but they also provide a natural way of removing volatile organics, such as benzene, formaldehyde, and ammonia. Pretty awesome, right? As for caring, all five are quite easy. They do well with low to medium light, but not direct sunlight. They need to be watered once the soil is completely dry. A good way to check this is by sticking your finger into the soil to see if it's dry. And finally, one of the most common mistakes to avoid and one that I made when I first got into plants is overwatering. It's better to underwater than overwater. Of course, I'll be diving further into everything plants, including care, propagating, and things to look out for when plant shopping in the videos ahead. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. What are your top five plants? What are some tips and tricks? Or just gush about how much you love plants. <laughs> so I hope you come along this journey with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.